For years, I've looked at screens like this. I'm like, I have no idea on what's actually important and what I need to change to get the best experience gaming. So I'm gonna go through some of that with you. I'm gonna show some demos uh, and I'm doing this on an Asus ROG Flow Z13. This is a 2023 model. It has the 4050 graphics card from NVIDIA, which is great if you know what to adjust and how to set it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over this. And I'm gonna talk about a couple different things here. First thing is this right here, the refresh rate on this device, 165 Hertz. This is fantastic, and you want to make the most use of this as you can. This is going to allow the game to play buttery smooth, but there is a point at where this is no longer the biggest priority. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be looking at the resolution, the upscaling method, NVIDIA DLSS, upscale quality, the graphic settings here, On almost all of these, what we're going to do is we're going to be trying to allow this to be as high as possible. We want all the pretty bells and whistles. And all the games that I show you here, which is going to be about three or four, we're going to be looking at keeping these at ultra settings. And then what do we adjust over here to make this play as enjoyably as possible? Now, this device has a resolution of 2560 by 1600. If the screen is not two inches from your face, this is not the best resolution to play in. NVIDIA DLSS, this is actually upscaling this lower resolution, but if the resolution isn't set lower, this isn't really gonna be doing what it's supposed to be doing. Look at this quick example in Tomb Raider. You can see we have 1600 by 1000, and then full resolution on the right. Really hard actually to tell a big difference. Yes, it's a little crisper, but not much. So you need to turn this down for this to be useful. Now the 4050 also has frame doubling, which is not available in every game. Let's go ahead and apply these settings. Yes, we're sure. Now this game is playing extremely, extremely smoothly. Now we are at 77, 75, as FPS. This is actually our target. So when you're gaming on a device like this, uh, it's nice to be at uh, over 100 frames per second, but is that actually going to make a difference when you're playing? Not really. Uh, our vision is, is hard for us to understand anything higher than 75 to 90 FPS. Now, yes, some people can tell, but most of us cannot. What your goal is, is keeping this above 60 at all points. All points in the game above 60. Below 60, you're going to start to feel the difference. It's not going to feel as fun because it's going to be a little laggy in the response between the controller and what you're seeing on the screen. So keep this above 60 and then turn the other settings as high as you possibly can. Now, in some games, this is not going to uh, be possible unless you adjust the uh, the screen setting to show the resolution plus the hertz rate, the refresh rate. Here we're in Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. We have an option here for SPS limit. Some people will put this at unlimited. If, if you're gaming on the battery, limiting this to something lower than unlimited can help, but really it's almost a useless function when you're plugged in. Ultra performance, if you're getting FPS higher than 90, you might want to turn this over into quality so that you're getting a better crisper image. Uh, DLSS sharpening, dynamic resolution. Here again, we have this set to lower than the maximum resolution. This is a absolutely beautiful game, super fun. Love the animation, love the way that the plants move around you when you walk through them. This is how I think a game should look. Awesome art style. Wow. <laughs> look at the lighting. Again, our goal here is to keep this above 60.
Direct X 12 versus 11 doesn't always improve performance. So you just need to test this one here. This is actually really important. The resolution, this should match the aspect ratio of your screen. So if your screen is 16 by nine, then you should not be using 1920 by 1200. You should be using 1920 by 1080. That means that those numbers are divisible by 16 and divisible by nine. So you want this number. So a number like 1920 by 1200, if you're using a surface device, that's a three by two aspect ratio, that would be 3000 by 2000 pixels, 1500 by 1000 pixels, 2100 by 1400 pixels something that's in that same uh, ratio between the two. So divisible by the same numbers. So here, our screen is not, this is a 16 by 10, so 1920 by 1200, as close as you can get to that same ratio, that's your goal. And a lot of games will actually populate resolutions based off of that. But pay attention, you don't want your screen to be squished and really narrow or super wide and pulled in at the sides. That is not ideal. All right, let's look at one more game. This is still one of the most beautiful games in my opinion. Super fun too. There's the hub, dead ahead. Shit, Carmine is definitely in trouble. Again, you can see that we're floating right above 60. Okay, and our settings here. So our quality here is set at custom. And then texture settings, we have everything set to ultra. Again, this is our goal. We want ultra quality, and then we wanna be able to see the quality, which is where the DLSS comes in. Uh, looks like we got across to the other side. Now looking at this, it's really difficult to see the difference in detail quality between these two resolutions. We just bumped the FPS up about 20. This is going to make a difference. Damn it, Swarm's taking down our condors too. All right, so when you're looking at a game, those are the different things that you want to be looking for. Look at changing the resolution a little lower so that you get above 60 all the time. If you're up towards 165 on this machine, that's great. However, it may not be worth increasing the FPS if the refresh rate isn't set to match. If you have questions about what settings you need to turn down or what settings you need to turn up for gaming on the Z13 or the Surface Laptop Studio, or any other device, uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And I'm happy to answer those questions. And then if you have feedback, uh, you disagree with something I said, put it in the comments below as well. Are you guys happy gaming? And I'll see you in the next video.